What is happening, everybody? Welcome. Thanks for being here. Really excited for this. I've never done one of these before. I thought this would be a really fun way to... Uh, well, first of all, I should say, this was not my idea. This was an idea that I've seen in multiple YouTube streams in the chat uh, by dozens and dozens of people, at least. Uh, and I thought it was a great idea, because I've never done this. I've never made a video where I've just gone through your favorite videos and talked about the production process, talked about, you know, little little things that happened on set or answer any questions you guys might have. Um, and so this was not my idea, but I thought this would be a really fun way to spend a day, to spend a couple hours today. And so here we are. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for having this great idea. Uh, and I'm very excited to see which videos you guys uh, in, in particular are curious to watch with me in this way. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, and there's tons and tons of uh, juicy stuff uh, involved with each of these videos that we can get into. So we're going to give everybody a minute to get in here, and then we will dive in, and we'll start taking suggestions from the chat, from you, on where we're going to start. I will do this for about an hour and a half or so, and so we should be able to get to quite a few um, and uh, I already have a feeling I know at least 10 of the videos we're going to be watching. Uh, it seems pretty obvious because these, the, these are the very titles that you guys shout out at me during live stream. So it shouldn't be too surprising. Uh, but we'll watch whatever you want, anything. Uh, so long as it's not uh, the video from 2013 where I'm forcing someone to watch all of my videos with me in the room. <laughs> so long as it's not that one. We'll watch whatever you want. Okay, so people are coming in. Where are we starting, guys? Which video are we watching first? I, I was going to do a poll on this, but I thought it would be more fun to just uh, do this in the YouTube chat, kind of eyeball it and see what everybody shouts out. So starting now, put in the chat what it is you want to see first, and I'll pick whatever looks like is most commonly being said okay I'm seeing a lot of jellyfish seeing a lot of uh, seen Malk a couple times a lot of jellyfish wow a lot of jellyfish that's actually kind of surprising uh, okay we're gonna start with jellyfish we're gonna start with jellyfish okay so here we go going into watch party mode um, all right Going to go to how do I navigate YouTube? How do I use my own channel here? Jellyfish. I'd say it's about time to update this guy. This 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 doesn't even look like me anymore. Who is this person with a naked face? Okay. Okay. So be before the video begins, uh, I will say that uh, this video came about with Jeffrey and me because I was in uh, Berlin and I went to the Berlin Zoo and I had, uh, a lot of people don't know this, in fact I don't know if I've ever said this before, but the reason this video happened is because I was in Berlin and I, it, the Berlin Zoo is amazing, Unbel I think it's actually like the number one zoo in the world, I could, maybe it's San Diego, I could be wrong, it's one of those two I'm pretty sure, but they had this amazing jellyfish aquarium there and I had my camera with me, and I got all this footage, this amazing footage of jellyfish. It was through glass. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't in the aquarium uh, tank itself, but through the glass, I was able to capture some amazing footage, uh, free of reflections and all that. I had a couple filters with me that helped. So I came back from Berlin with all this beautiful footage of jellyfish that I had no idea what I was going to do with. And then Jeffrey took the rest from there. Uh, so, got to give credit where credit is due. All right, so here's jellyfish. All the jellyfish footage you see in here was shot by me at the Berlin Zoo. Jellyfish. 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 I got that fish from Gelson's Market jellyfish. in Los Angeles. Take some jelly, take some fish. Look at that sandwich, delish. So Just gross. make sure you don't eat a real jellyfish. Or you'll die! Jellyfish. 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 
Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. This world is full of compound words. Speak slower, bro, or you won't be hurt. If you talk quick, you might sound slick, but I also might think you just asked me to make you a real jellyfish sandwich. And you'll die! Jellyfish. 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 Hear the difference? Jellyfish. Jellyfish. It's subtle, but it could save your life. Jellyfish. Big ol' nasty fish. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Also, this is one of the worst sounding Jellyfish. recordings I, I ever Jellyfish. produced. I made this for you. Uh, I'm amazed that this is this video and this song has done so well because I literally recorded. Take some yeah. jelly, take some fish, make a sandwich, delish. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Uh, yeah, I rec- look at that slit in the uh, fish here. It's so gruesome. Goodness. What if they sold us like that at markets as meat? With our stomachs all gutted. Goodness. It's brutal. Uh, yeah, that, that track was recorded uh, in a closet. I recorded the whole thing in a walk-in closet. Uh, it was the closest thing I could find with uh, some acoustic treatment uh, at the time in this tiny apartment uh, that I was in at the time. And, uh, yeah, that, I'm just amazed that that song has performed so well because it sounds horrible. <laughs> it sounds so bad. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. So that was uh, jellyfish. Any any questions about jellyfish, or should we go on to the next one? Uh, there's actually not too much to talk about with jellyfish. That one's pretty simple. That's one of the simpler videos. It didn't take really any effort. Uh, okay, I'm seeing some names of other videos. Akbar racist coffee. Um. Hmm. No consensus yet. I've seen some I wish I was a black guy. Okay, we're going to I wish I was a black guy. That one seems to be happening. All right, we're doing I wish I was a black guy. Because I noticed one or two more of those being mentioned than uh, the others. Okay, watch party mode activated. I wish. I wish I was a black guy. Your shipping manager left to find themselves, leaving you lost. You need to hire. I need Indeed. Indeed. Oh, I wasn't watching that earlier. What are you talking about? (laughs) That's really funny. Why did it start in the middle? Okay, uh, this video. Oh, oh, actually, there's some there's some good context here at the beginning. Uh, This video. uh, There's a lot to say up front, actually. This video took forever to make. It took, I want to say, I think I was focused on pretty much just this one video for like a month and a half. I might have had some other things going on at the time. This is 2015, guys, so I I can't actually remember what was on my calendar at the time. But this video was taking up a lot of my focus for a long time for several reasons. Uh, It's it's a fairly complicated uh, production for a YouTube sketch, so it took a lot of effort there. But also, um, Logan Paul was supposed to be in this video. Uh, originally, and then he ended up having to go out of town. I think he got like some movie role or something. He got some huge opportunity. This was before he was like really, really big. Um, but he he had he couldn't he had to leave the country for some movie or something, and so uh, and I had to get the video done. I couldn't wait on him, so we ended up replacing him with uh, Josh Holt, who's in a bunch of my videos. Uh, and I actually think it's a, the video is a lot better with Josh than it would have been with Logan. No disrespect. Uh, but I think like the whole point was that we're supposed to be two dorks and I think Josh and I together equal three whole dorks in this video. So I have uh, no complaints. I thought I thought this video came out perfectly. This is actually one of the videos I'm happiest with uh, to this day. The, the music in it is probably one of my favorite mixes and uh, it just took forever to make. Uh, there was so many elements. Okay, here we go. The stupid TV is busted again! Josh! Josh, come quick! It's our favorite music video! Our favorite song! I see that from Tyler Huddleston. Taylor Huddleston. I do keep contact with all these people. We're all still good friends. My, oh my, have you ever seen a black guy? Ever 
single day in slow motion. Yeah. We shot this at uh, uh, this this park scene was at uh, I think it's I think it's called Magnolia. Yeah, it's the Magnolia Park in uh, uh, not yeah Valley Village in Valley Village, Los Angeles. Um, for anybody who's familiar with that park. Filmed it on the southwest corner of that park. It's a little unknown, smaller portion of that park. I still have that. Uh, you guys, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Uh, this was not planned. This is literally sitting on my floor right here right now because I use this thing. It's amazing. Hang on. I still got it. I still got it. I don't even know if you can see this in the cropped frame, but it's right here. This thing sounds amazing. It's like 30 years old. Uh, I bought it as a prop and was it was just icing on the cake that it still worked and sounded amazing. I was a black guy. If you follow my instructions, you'll do just fine. Oh, right. Walk like I do. Left, right, left, right. Name your favorite food. Scrimp. Sperlina. You need some color. Scrimps. To be a brother. He can't do much with Wonder Bread. I wish I was a black guy. You can see the clips in those shots where we're uh, in these shots where we're dancing with the white suits. You can see clips on the back making them uh, tighter to our bodies. This is actually my least favorite part of the video. Uh, not this part, but that little part before where I'm on the couch. I thought that part should have been a little more choreographed. The people at the park on this day, these people in the background, in the very background there, they had, we were just literally at the park. We had no filming permit. Like there was this actual kids soccer practice happening. These people were, we didn't know they were going to be there. They're just bystanders. Uh, and we were literally like blaring this song that nobody had heard before. I wish I was a black guy in the park. And it's just two dorks, two white dorks and a bunch of black guys <laughs> dancing around. Everybody was like, what is happening? <laughs> oh, also, I forgot. I can't believe I forgot to mention this. So Josh, this guy here, this is Josh Holt. He's one of my dear, one of my oldest, dearest friends. And he, uh, he, he cannot sing. He 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 can sing. Uh, actually, maybe he can sing. He's he's actually a he's he's he knows music. He's a musician, but uh, he couldn't sing this part. So both voices you're hearing in this track are me. I'm actually singing both of them uh, because uh, because Josh couldn't hit the notes. <laughs> they were way too high for him, um, and so I had to sing both of them. And it was one of the harder tasks I've ever had to sing that high and make it sound like two different people. Um, yeah, this video was complicated. Also, um, that video, the video itself, the song in the video, the version of the song in the video is shorter than the actual full track. There's actually a full track that's a little bit longer. Reason was, I just thought the video should be a little bit shorter. So if any of you own that song, the track that you can get on Apple Music, um, 
it's uh, it, you'll you've probably noticed it's it's a bit longer. Uh, that's because I just when I got into the edit, I thought the video needed to be like 15 seconds shorter, and so um, we cut out we cut out about 15 20 seconds of it just for the video. So if any of you have ever noticed that, that's why I just thought the video should be a little bit shorter. Um, that video holds a special place in my heart. I love that one because it took so long to make, and uh, to this day I'm so happy with it. Uh, it, the the music I, I love the music in it I, it's probably one of my favorite tracks of anything on the channel um, so yeah I uh, very I'm, I'm glad that that one was requested here that one holds a special place in my heart um, okay so what's next guys what are we doing next Carphone we should get to Carphone there's some interesting stuff in Carphone. Eat Randy, Akbar. Eat Randy, eat Randy. Okay, there's some Eat Randy happening. We're going Eat Randy, guys. Eat Randy's next. So far, I'm very happy with the selections you're making. I approve. I approve. Okay. Let's see if Eat Randy gets recommended. Nope. Why not? Why not, YouTube? This was the organic progression YouTube they want to eat Randy next where's your wreck okay here we go eat Randy this video um, what do you want <laughs> what a job that I actually I like this commercial <laughs> this is a good commercial uh, so this this song uh, sat I've told this story before but I'll say it here just because a lot of people will probably have probably not heard the story before eat Randy was a song that I wrote in 2000. It was actually, it's probably the oldest thing on my channel, the song itself, because I had written the, this track, the whole music, I had recorded it in full. It was completed in like 2006, I want to say. I was still living at my parents' house, so it must have been 2005 or 2006 when I actually recorded this music. And then um, all I had at the time for like four or five years was the chorus lyrics which is i'd rather eat randy uh and i and so for many years this track sat on my computer with nothing else on it but the music you hear and uh, i'd rather eat randy in the chorus and i didn't know what to i didn't know how lyrically to justify rather eating randy so it just sat there for years and it took a long time to actually come up with some kind of concept that made sense for eating another human being understandably because it's ridiculous um but i'm so i'm so glad that this one actually got made this because there's so many things like this still sitting on my computer that are just unfinished ideas um and who knows maybe some of them will emerge one day this moon i'll say right here is completely fake as if it even needs to be said it actually looks pretty realistic but there's no way it would be that big in the sky unless the world were ending so that's a fake moon and uh, also last thing I'll say before we play the video uh, I actually this is not a filter this VHS thing you're seeing is not a filter I actually had this video mastered to VHS authentically mastered to VHS we actually converted it from digital to analog and then back to digital so that we could get that authentic VCR and I actually had to go through like three VCRs on Craigslist because I wanted an old shitty VCR for this effect I wanted it to look like authentically I didn't want to do a filter. So I, I went through, I kid you not, three different used dinosaur VCRs on Craigslist just to find one that we could manually do the tracking, uh, which for all you Gen Zers, I know I'm, no, I, I'm always making fun of the Gen Zers even though it's unnecessary, but the tracking, just for you youngins here, was like a little knob on the VCR that controlled the alignment of the tape in, inside, the v, inside the VCR. So. Uh, that's what causes all the jitters and whatnot. So I wanted one that wasn't totally messed up, that still kind of worked, but had, but looked horrible. And so that we actually mastered Eat Randy uh, on an actual VHS master. So all those words and stuff you're seeing were from the VCR itself. The hi-fi at the top and the tracking at the bottom, that's all straight from the VCR. This restaurant has everything you'd ever want, but nothing that quite fancies me. I do not want the steak bernays. I do not want... That's Josh from Malk. A lot of people don't pick up on that, but this waiter here, that's Josh from Malk. He's wearing glasses and Malk. 
Uh, the, he's the man of many faces. He's hard to follow, but that's him. The duck flown baby special sounds sound special to me. I'd rather eat Randy. I'd rather eat Randy. is good. Let us thank him for this Randy. Amen. Randy is a so, prequel. So we had, uh, this is chocolate Hershey's syrup here. This is ranch dressing. This is a bunch of celery. Let's see what else we got. Plus uh, this is cake icing and sprinkles. I can't remember what we had up here on uh, Randy's belly. I, uh, it goes too fast. It does like this whip pan. Seal the deal. Oh, and I'll be needing to go box. I'd rather <laughs> eat Randy. He's so excited to be eaten. So a lot of people don't pick up on this, but Rhett and Link actually have a cameo in this video. Let's see if they're in here. I think we just passed them. There they are. There's Rhett and Link. So good to see you. Would you like to ride my bicycle? This, these, all these shots in this little uh, bridge sequence were shot around my neighborhood in Sherman Oaks at the time, uh, Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles. And uh, my neighbors, they, they must have thought I was, uh, they must have known I was crazy. I should say because <laughs> we were all the time running around doing things like this. But this one uh, kind of took the cake. This one was like. Uh, there was no excusing this one. It was it, we were up to no good. Oh, Randy, wish me a happy anniversary, would you? Randy, would you like to go on a picnic with me? Randy, we're so proud of you, Randy. Eat Randy, 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 eat Randy. I'd rather eat Randy. All right, this is where they all start getting hypnotized. They're all hypnotized by the message. And then we've won them over. Everybody's ready to eat Randy. So there's, a, there's actually a misconception about this video. Uh, a lot of people, you'd be surprised how often I hear people call that video or refer to it as I want to eat Randy. Um, the joke is that we're at this fancy restaurant and there's nothing good to eat. That's the actual joke. The joke is that there's we're at this overpriced fancy restaurant and the food is so bad that I'd rather eat a human person. <laughs> That's the joke of eat Randy. Uh, so a lot of people miss that, but it's kind of a, a joke about overpriced atmosphere in restaurants it's like you know these restaurants charge so much for an atmosphere and uh, the food is actually very often not not too good so that's that's what eat randy's about it's not can don't don't eat children at home kids it's not i can't recommend it um all right uh thank you for that super chat party 41 very kind very kind you are amazing uh okay so uh let's see here the chat's going kind of nuts. Let's see if I can catch up on some things. Um, Matthias, curious about background in music. Yeah, it's actually funny. I, I always thought growing up I was going to be a musician. Uh, my I grew up in a musical family. Uh, in fact, my, my father was an A&R executive um, when I was a kid. Uh, and uh, thank you for that super chat, John Corrin. Uh, I grew up thinking I was going to be in a band or... Um, some kind of having something to do with music and arguably I, I kind of have I, I, I'll never go on tour or anything I, it, that, I'm not the touring type that's the one thing that deterred me from pursuing a career in music I just don't like tour buses I don't like uh, travel very much I, I, I like staying home um, so YouTube has kind of allowed me to kind of dabble in all my interests from filmmaking to uh, music making and all the above even making commercials so go YouTube um all right, guys, what are we watching next? Nice hotel, car phone. There's a lot of car phone. Uh, now's the time to say what you want to see next. Mm, more car phone. Naked in the shower. Mm, okay. All right, we're going to go naked in the shower. 
well, we're going to watch never get naked in your shower. It's a lot of words, so I, I, I abbreviate it. Thank you for that super chat, Mother Mother June and Grim's, Grimnack. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. Okay, uh, let's see. Watch party mode. Never get naked. Let's see how long it takes never get naked to come up. Never get naked. <laughs> it doesn't even come up. Oh, it's I'll never get naked. Oh, they don't like it. I'll never get naked in your... They don't like it. They don't like the title. All right. Maybe I've been shadow banned. Alma, it's Alma. Okay, so one complaint I have about this video, right out of the gate, is this opening shot and all of these wide shots. Uh, I had to make this video in a hurry. This was um, during a season where I was actually making a lot of stuff, and so... Uh, uh, w there was actually a, 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 a relatively decent sized team uh, that I had working to produce videos regularly at this time. Uh, and so we were on a schedule and, and had to kind of hustle a little bit. One thing that I wished I had done differently, I wished I had lit up this water so that you can actually see it because you can't see that this water's on. You can only see it bouncing off my chest and it's enough. It works, but like this water really should be lit up. And that's something that every time this video comes up, I, uh, I can't stand looking at this shot. I'll never get naked in your shower. I promise I'll always wear my clothes. Uh, this guitar uh, is actually a, uh, a two hundred dollar guitar I got from Target. It was one of those cheapo beginner guitars. I think it's called First Act. Um, <laughs> and to this guitar's credit, my kids still have it, and it sounds pretty dang good even after being drenched in a shower for two hours uh, or however long I was in here. I thought this video, this guitar was just going to get thrown away uh, after we made the video. But to this day, this thing sounds pretty dang good, especially for a two hundred dollar guitar. Uh, so very impressive. Um, and then I'll also say that this video was originally, uh, this is another one that sat in an ideas folder for a long time before I actually made it. And originally this was going to be like a boy band kind of presentation, like a, a One Direction or NSYNC for all you, um, NSYNC for all you Gen Zers is, uh, they're a, a popular, a very old popular, I'm just, I'm, I'm kidding guys. Uh, the, <laughs> it was going to be like this ridiculous flamboyant, uh, joke about never getting naked in the shower, but it was going to be very flamboyant. And I thought this one, this idea, we landed on this uh, angle on the joke because I thought it was just, there was something a little bit creepier about like, like I'm in this bathroom. I've clearly brought my friend into the bathroom to listen to a song I've written about nude, uh, nude being decent and, and not nude in the shower. So I, th I thought there was something a little more absurd about this idea. That's why it, um, we steered away from the boy band idea. <laughs> I'm a guest in your home. I declare this an anti-awkward zone. And there ain't no need for privacy. Ain't no private parts, you see. This way we don't have to be alone. Huh? I'll never get naked in your shower. I promise I'll always wear my clothes. getting kind of steamy in here. Well, you can take your shirt off if All you All this want. steam in this is it's a digital shirt. steam. It's not real steam. Good job. That was a test. There's not too much to say about the production process behind this video because it's pretty simple. We actually sold this soap for a while. Um, pretty cool. Uh, it looked a lot better than this one. We used like an old grungy looking one. 
but uh, <laughs> that soap was we, we sold a bunch of that soap it's actually really high quality soap too uh it was like handmade soap uh boutique soap we sold um but yeah it's not available anymore i stopped selling all my merch because i'm a horrible capitalist um all right guys what are we watching next Wow, thank you for the super chats, guys. Uh, thank you, 16031 Games. Very binary name. That was a joke. Um, and Party41, thank you, guys. Okay, uh, let's see. We're going to... Wow, wow, you guys are going too fast. Um, wow, Ginger Snap, I've seen that a couple times. Ginger Snap. Let's do Ginger Snap. That's one I didn't expect. Ginger Snap is fun. Okay, back to watch party mode we go. Uh, Ginger Snap. I didn't expect that one to come up. Okay, this is a video. I made this for um, True TV. It was a tr this was I did a True TV sketch comedy pilot uh, in 2014, and Ginger Snap was one of like 12 sketches in this pilot we did, um, and I liked it so much that I got permission to put it on my YouTube channel after they passed on the on the, the comedy show. They passed on it. And I was like, well, you at least got to let me use this sketch on my channel then, because it's funny. And you guys don't know what you're talking Dad about. Tax. You know, that little or not so little. Dad tax. Dads are known for, when you join Walmart Plus, you get free grocery delivery with no markups. Hey. The only thing you have to worry about is... Dad tax. James, you want me to shut the blinds for you? I don't know. You want to shut up? No, seriously, if the window gets to be too much, let me know. I've got plenty of SPS. So James, so James, uh, hot. in this Thanks, video, the the, you have any other the redhead, this guy, he's actually on SNL now. Um, he's in a bunch of my earliest videos, and now he's an SNL cast member. He's like friends big time now. Up. I don't have any redheaded friends, no. <laughs> Good one, baby. Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. Nice comeback, carrot top. <laughs> Also, in this song, this is another great example of uh, uh, me singing uh, absurdly high-pitched voices. Uh, all these voices in this track are mine, except for James's rap. Um, that's me singing the lady's part and the guy's part. <laughs> Fun fact. You're gonna regret that. I think you made this ginger snap. I think you made this ginger snap. Think you made this ginger you know it's hard out here for a ginger when your only role model Sean White. I rock a sunburn in the cold of winter. You never sleep when your skin's this bright. So show some respect to some self-control. I got a temper makes hell seem cold. And I'll be coming for you. And I'll be coming for you. I hate to say it, but ginger's got soul. Oh no, and just like that. There's not too much to say about this video production-wise either. It's pretty simple. These effects took some time, but they're all pretty simple. It's supposed to look kind of corny. It's supposed to be this like insane build up to like you think all hell's gonna break loose, and then he has these like puny little lasers. <laughs> we had uh, we had lights for the for the lasers. We had. Uh, uh, a couple people in the room like just swinging lights around uh, little lights that you can hold in your hand We just uh, flipping them around so it looked like there were lights bouncing around from the lasers you made this ginger Wait, don't help me. I'm a ginger too. I'm a redhead What? Why didn't you say something? I just wanted to live a normal life. You're both gingers <laughs> All right, that's ginger snap um I like that one. That one's a kind of a hidden gem in the channel. Didn't ever get a bunch of attention, but I like that one a lot. Uh, and James is a very funny guy. Um, okay, so what are we watching next, guys? We're off to a good start. Pre-blessed food. Racist coffee. Reading a book. I'm, I'm just saying the ones I'm seeing the most of. I can't keep up with you guys. I'm seeing a lot of racist coffee, guys. We're going racist coffee. Okay, racist coffee. Here we go. Thank you for that super chat, uh, Mother June. Okay. 
Let's see if YouTube likes this one. Racist. Oh, it does like it. It likes racist coffee, but never get naked in your shower. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, happy place. At home has it all. Tons of pillows. The irony storage. of this store is that uh, you're not actually at home when you're there, but it's called at home. I don't get it. So this is a funny video, uh, the, or a funny fa <laughs> Of course, guys, this is this is a comedic video. What you're about to watch is comedy, just in case you don't laugh. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be comedy. Uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, wh what I was trying to say was uh, the funny thing about this video is I didn't know Donovan very well at this point. I had just met him uh, less than a year before making this. Uh, he and I were on a, a clip show on uh, CBS. Uh, I think on some, in some states it aired on the C, the CW channel, whatever that is. Uh, but it was through CB. It was a CBS show called Smash Cuts. That's where I met Donovan. And there's a whole funny story about the actual time that Donovan and I met and how we became friends. Um, but we we were just colleagues for a long time uh, on this show. We were you know co-stars of this show, uh, this little tiny CBS show, for a long time before we actually became friends. And this video. Um, it, you know, we weren't we weren't too good of we, we we weren't really like technically friends yet. But I, I was pitching in this video, so if you can just imagine the the awkwardness of like being like, hey, uh, I've got this idea, like uh, it's about racism. It's a racist joke about coffee, <laughs> like trying to sell him on this idea. But uh, he loved it, and he made the video so much better. And the rest was history. To this day, we're like brothers. Donovan is uh, one of my very good friends. I, I love that guy. Really good guy. Um, and uh, so glad that this was one of the first things we made together. His coffee's black, his coffee's white, but we drink it both ways, cause it's all right. Some only drink it white, some only drink it black, but we drink it both ways so that we won't get flack. I get a lot of questions. Oh, so this, uh, there's a couple things here. This guy here, this is Rob Dames. He's, le he's a legend. This guy's a legend, guys. This guy's badass. He's, uh, he was, uh, one of the lead writers on, uh, I think he was the lead writer for most of the Full House, like the original Full House show. This guy's like a legend. Uh, he was, uh, showrunner on Smash Cuts, that show that Donovan and I met on. Um, and I was so honored he agreed to come be in this video. Uh, this guy is so baller. It's not even funny. He's, he, I mean, Full House is just one thing he worked on, but he's like legit old school entertainment guy. Um, also, I get a lot of questions about this sequence here where I'm doing the lights with the cable. Uh, where is it? This, this part here. Yeah, uh, I wasn't actually plugging the cable in and out. Um, I get a lot of questions about that for some reason, but uh, I had somebody operating... Uh, a circuit breaker with a big light that was upstairs and uh, they they were doing it on beat it would have been way too hard to do that in real time That part always gets me, even though it's my video, because it's like, 
it's actually like kind of racist it's like the it's the there's always a twist in my videos there's always some weird twist that makes you go like what uh that one was uh that one always gets me because I, I always forget it's there um all right so now we're on uh uh i get what video number was that i think that was video number five i don't know how many we've watched so far um all right what are we watching next guys Mr. Tim, I've seen a lot of nice hotel. I've seen a lot of reading a book. Um, reading a book has been going pretty relentlessly in the chat. Maybe reading a book next. Reading a book, yeah, let's do reading a book next. Uh, next because that one uh, might be the uh, most rich with commentary of anything on my channel. Because that one took so long to make. I, I was working on, I'm reading a book for three damn months I'm reading a book Grammarly helps you work more efficiently no, which doesn't. makes accomplishing your work goals easier Knowing English helps you work more efficiently Okay, here we go Um yeah, so this, uh, the, right out of the gate, this guy's not a real cop, he's an actor, but I can't remember how we got a cop car, honestly. I think it was some picture car that we rented. Um, this one's hard, I'm, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be hard for me to jog my memory on all this, because there was so many different scenes that took my focus for several weeks at a time. Um, but I'm pretty sure that was just a picture car we rented. That guy was definitely an actor. We shot this in, uh, uh, the the cop scene was shot up in the, just north of Los Angeles somewhere. I think it was like um, Santa Clarita. That's where it was. At home, sitting in my favorite nook. My girl's trying to get me eat some dinner she cooked. I'm reading a book, girl, I'm reading a book. Don't you ever interrupt me while I'm reading a book. On the shoulder, I got pulled over. Now that's, that's the techno jeep I'm in here. I'm in the techno jeep, but a lot of people don't pick up on that. Pig's trying to get me while my window lower. And look, look how much this thing was falling apart. Look at this. I drove this thing into the ground. I drove this thing to New York three times from Nashville, and then I drove it across the country to L.A. when I moved there. This thing never gave up. I drove it through the desert in the middle of summer with no air conditioning. It was, it never gave up. The funny thing about this scene uh, is we're, we're making jokes about being a crook at the library, and uh, and the, the irony is that we shot this illegally. Uh, <laughs> we, we just marched in uh, with cameras, and nobody said anything. Uh, I think we were really discreet about it, but we managed to get all this footage. In hindsight, it was it was questionable, but it was at a very early time uh, where there were not like. It was, it was a legal gray area. I'll say that. There were no laws at this. This is 2011, um, before YouTubers were running around with cameras all the time. Uh, so, you know, we kind of flew under the radar a little bit. We didn't disrupt any, the piece or anything, but the irony is that, that we definitely were not permitted to be here. The pay for my library books. I take them from the shelf. And if anyone looks, I say, I'm reading a book, man. I'm reading a book. Yeah, I'm stupid, but they're probably for stupid kid. Took a book from a present that was supposed to be his. Now I'm about to find out what happens to Captain Hope. This kid is uh, uh, Isaac Blanks. Um, uh, uh, it's been so long. I believe that's your name, buddy. Uh, what an amazing actor. Uh, he's Billy Blanks' son. Uh, or is he his? Yeah, he's Billy Blanks' son. Isaac Blanks. Um, fun trivia back. Thank you for that super chat. Levitt the Brave.
is one of my favorite endings of anything on my channel. Because it's just like, what the hell? Um, and this guy was an actor. Uh, he's actually playing that there. He's a professional bagpipe, bagpipe player. And uh, we hiked to the top of uh, uh, Runyon Canyon in Los Angeles to shoot this shot at sunset. Uh, I wanted it to look like we were in like Ireland or something, so we went for like a. Uh, I figured sunset in Los Angeles was the best time to shoot it because there would be a bunch of smog in the background <laughs> from all the traffic and uh, less detail because everything would be backlit by the sun. Uh, but you should have. We, we literally hiked up with with a camera and a mic and his bagpipes, and he hiked up in that outfit. And uh, he, you should have been there when I was trying to explain to him what the purpose of his scene was. Uh, he was like, wait, so it's a rap song? And, and, and it just ends with me playing this old Scottish uh, song. <laughs> like, he just had no idea what, uh, what was going on. Uh, but it was, yeah, I, I love that ending so much because it just comes out of left field. Um, all right, so that's I'm reading a book. Uh, guys, this is a great time. If you're enjoying the stream, hit the like button. I'm sure I'm sure you guys are all subscribed. I mean, this is a pretty intimate group here. Uh, but if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so that you get notified. Um, my channel is uh, still being rebooted. It's going to take me some time. So the algorithm it's going to take some time for the algorithm to catch up on uh, my progress here and the fact that I'm still active. So if you uh, are enjoying the stream, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when we're live. Um, and now it's time to see what we're doing next, guys. Granny Games. Baby, how you like your eggs? I've seen Nice Hotel a bunch. I've also seen Pre-Blessed Food a lot. Thank you for that super chat, Jake and Nader. Um, oh, man, there's a lot of Nice Hotel. Okay, we're doing Nice Hotel. Nice Hotel. Here we go. This is another one of those videos that didn't get uh, a ton of attention on my channel uh, that I thought deserved more. There's some there's some production things in this video that could have been a little clearer. Maybe that's why it didn't uh, go like super viral or anything. But uh, I like this one. This is with uh, Craig Benzine, Wheezy Waiter. I think this was the first thing I ever shot with him. Uh, what a great guy. What a cool guy. Uh, I was in Illinois. Uh, shooting five sketches when this happened. Hey, by the way, uh, quick side note, it's storming where I am. Um, I don't intend on losing power, but it's possible. So if, if, uh, if everything goes black, I'm most likely alive, uh, <laughs> but I don't know if it's going to get nasty out there. Uh, yeah, so I was in Illinois. I had a trip planned to Illinois where I actually shot a bunch of videos uh, that you guys are talking about here in the chat all at once. Um, not literally all at once, but all in the same trip, in the same, like, week. We shot Nice Hotel. We shot Akbar. We shot um, uh, Granny Games. And we shot, what else? Two other videos. One or two other videos. I can't, they'll come to me. Uh, but, yeah, we shot all these, like, all of those that I just mentioned were shot uh, within a week of each other in a trip to Illinois I had planned. And, and this was shot at the Dana Hotel and Spa in Chicago, this nice hotel is Dana Hotel and Spa, very swanky hotel. Um, uh, we couldn't we couldn't just go to like Comfort Inn and shoot a video called Nice Hotel. We had to have something swanky. So here we go. This is a Nice Hotel. This is a nice hotel. This is a nice hotel indeed. It's a nice hotel indeed. Look at this hotel room. What do you see? Dollar dollar sign. Dollar sign. Dollar 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 sign. We don't have money, so we can't touch anything. Put it on the credit card. <laughs> debt debt. This room's cool. This room's fine. It's got Ethernet, so I can get online. This internet's kind of slow. This internet's kind of slow. This is a nice hotel indeed. It's a nice hotel indeed. This is a nice hotel indeed. It's a nice hotel indeed. They gave us they gave us free reign of this hotel when when I told them we were I got that they let us stay there for free. I told them I was going to promote their hotel if they let us come shoot there. And so they like put us up in this swanky room. I told them we need two shower heads, not one. I literally told them that. I was like, the only thing is we need two shower heads, not one. Uh, uh, so they, they didn't get the joke because the video hadn't been out yet. But they gave us free reign of this hotel. This was like the, uh, 
the party room it's the the penthouse of the hotel it's up top and like they emptied it for us uh, they just like gave us whatever we wanted it was pretty wild walk into the room and i see housekeeping with my stuff so mean there well, that's better you scare me half to death yeah i thought i lost my sweater there's only one bed there's only one bed you call it in the air now tails or heads both we're sleeping in the same bed but it's okay because we're not telling anyone Hotel indeed, it's a nice hotel indeed. This is a nice hotel indeed, it's a nice hotel indeed. We're showering at the same time. We're showering at Here the it same is. time. Cause there's two shower heads, not one. There's two shower heads, not one. We're showering at the same time. We're showering at the same time. Cause there's two shower heads, not one. And it's okay, cause we're not looking. Hotel indeed, it's a nice hotel indeed. That clap sound at the end uh, was me clapping myself. I filmed it later because we didn't get audio in that shot. Uh, so it was after I was back in LA and it was, these be a little clap sound here. So I literally just did it myself. Uh, I was lonely, guys. Lonely. It's lonely being a youtuber okay uh what's next guys i've seen a lot of red eye flashes twice the last several minutes red eye flashes twice yeah okay red eye flashes twice here we go red eye flashes twice Uh, Will Ferrell was uh, in talks to be in this video when I made it. Uh, I was doing some stuff with Funny or Die at the time, and uh, Will was acting in a bunch of, uh, not a bunch, but he was selectively acting in some digital videos for different content creators. And uh, I thought we were going to have him for like 24 hours, and then he said he couldn't do it. I was so yeah, bummed. Thanks. So we got Ray William Johnson. to Will Ferrell was going to do the part Ray, uh, of Ray William Johnson's cameo in this. It was going to be Will or not so little. Dad pack. Dads are known for when you join Walmart Plus, you get free grocery delivery with no markups. Hey. The only thing you have to worry about is Dad pack. This is a song for every person in the world. Everybody's trying to get their picture looking nice But they act like a camera is some foreign device I've got something to ask you and I'll keep it concise What are you, stupid? Red eye flashes twice I did not know if this joke was, trying to was gonna make sense as a lyric when we were working on this. Lots of pictures, so he gave me some advice. He moved before the Y'all know Jeffrey. Photography. He's yeah, pretty right. stubborn. He Why gets what he wants. Stupid Bill? Red eye flashes twice. All your friends will hate your guts if you don't stand still. Your family will disown your butt and probably have you killed. If you have a girlfriend, which we all know you don't, but if you do, she'll leave you, and then you definitely won't have a girlfriend. The famous person in this picture wasn't very nice. I just wanted his picture and his pizza slice. With just one flash, he walked away as if I had headlights. What are you, stupid? I've, I've seen all your movies twice. All your friends will hate your guts if you don't stand still. Your family will disown your butt and probably have you killed. If you have a girlfriend, which we all know you don't, but if you do, she'll leave you, and then you definitely won't. See, it's much easier to just assume that the flash is gonna go two times and just wait there for a second, rather than move and risk all these people in your life hating you forever and wanting you dead because every time they look at their picture, they don't see the picture. They see, oh, there's so-and-so. He ruined my picture in front of the Washington Monument. I freaking hate that guy. All your friends will hate your guts if you don't stand still. Your family will disown your butt and probably have you killed. If you have a girlfriend, which we all know you don't, but if you do, she'll leave you and then you definitely won't. You'll be single for the rest of your life.
And you won't have any pictures of yourself either. I made this for you! <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of things I'd do differently with that video these days. Uh, but that's... Uh, I'm amazed that that one got any response because I thought the joke was too complicated. Uh, but people got it. People aren't stupid, it turns out. People understand a good joke. They understand a mediocre joke, at least. That one, uh, that, that one uh, I would have done a lot differently today. Okay, uh, I've seen a bunch of car phone. I'm going to hang here for a second because the chat is a little bit delayed from what I'm seeing. I'm going to hang here for a second, give, it, give everybody a fair chance to say what they want to see next because I realize not everybody can probably uh, stick around here all night. I've seen a bunch of car phone. I'm seeing more car phone. Look at that, more car phone. Car phone was so dangerous. Probably the one of the more dangerous things I produced on the channel because, uh, yeah, reasons. We'll get into it. All right, we're doing car phone. Here we go. Wow, you type in car and car phone comes up first? That's pretty wild. Come on, Internet. Refresh. Oh, look, a car ad. How appropriate. I wonder if they're going to sell us car phones. Maybe they'll sell us bag phones. Who remembers bag phones? Millennials, uh, bag phones are... Uh, I'm just joking. Yes, I am. I'm a very busy man. My words flow forth with or without line of land. Uh, yeah, so this video was so dangerous because we, this was a car we were renting. This, uh, it, I don't even, I think it was a picture car. I'm not sure if it was just somebody, I can't remember if it was a collector. It was definitely a collector that we rented it from, but I, I don't know if they were in the habit of renting it out or not. The production was insured, so if we, anything had happened, they would have been paid for it. But uh, yeah, we were literally just driving. I mean, all this stuff, if you can imagine how dangerous this was, like, we were just driving around shooting, and uh, some of these shots I was, uh, you know, driving fairly recklessly. Uh, so I was kind of nervous while we were shooting this that something bad was going to happen. Um, uh, also, I paused it because a lot of people don't notice this because it's a very quick they shot. But, uh, but me. Me. this is Jen Smedley back here from I'm Mom So Hard. I don't know if anybody here knows I'm Mom So Hard, but um, she was just starting that project at the time, and now she's, like, big time. Um, my wife, my child, and, most and that's uh, Rhett McLaughlin's kid. <laughs> uh, uh, Shepard. No, 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 not Shepard. Uh, uh, oh, boy, why, I feel so bad. I can't remember your name, buddy. Uh, not Locke. Is it Shepard or Locke? You guys are going to correct me on this. It has been a long time since I've seen them. I pretty much only see their dads very occasionally now because uh, uh, we live very far apart from each other now. Um, Gosh, what was the uh, buddy? I feel bad. I can't remember your name. You're such a cool kid. He's old now. He's like he's like 19, I think now. Yeah, this shot was so dangerous. I was definitely going too fast in a neighborhood. Who else could go for some donuts right up? I shot this part at my house uh, with all the windows blocked and some swinging lights. I wanted a really like dreamy shot here, so this was not even in a car. About now, let's call the guys and get donuts every single night. Yeah, every single night. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this guy here. Justin Johns, uh, for those, uh, you, uh, if you've been watching here for a long time, you probably recognize that name, uh, but I doubt you've ever seen a picture of him. This is Justin Johns. He was uh, like my, uh, he and Josh Lovell were like my my right-hand dudes uh, on the channel for years. Uh, and, uh, but yeah, I mean, so many videos he and I worked on together, uh, and I had to make a cameo in this one. Jonas, if you think I'm from the future... This shot took forever. I 
still have that car phone, by the way. Uh, maybe we'll do some kind of like prize giveaway. I've got all these props still, so uh, maybe we'll do some kind of prize giveaway on the channel at some point where we give the car phone away. There's James again. Did you catch the game last night? No, I was on my car phone. Do I really gotta be? Son, I'm this close. I'm this close to spanking you right now. I can't hold it. Son, calling anyone, anyone I want when I'm on my car phone, my car phone. Legit, almost got hit by these cars there. Those cars in the background were pretty angry. We were doing that. What is that? An iPhone. But I can call anyone I want when I'm on my car phone. Yep. Locke McLaughlin. That's who it is right there. I knew it was Locke. I was say I was trying to remember it was it Shepherd or Locke. I thought it was Locke. That makes sense, yeah. Sorry, Locke. I, I I'm sure you're not still watching my channel, but if you were, I'm really sorry. Uh, that was a long time ago, and it's been a minute. I've seen pictures of you, though. You're a grown-ass man now. Pretty cool. Pretty wild. That makes me feel hella old. Okay. That was car phone. What's next? Thank you, Lucy and R, for that super chat. I've been waking up to O. Jeffrey ever since it came out. It's my alarm every single day. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you for the super chat, Mother June. Reservation. Okay, Mother June has sent a super chat. He, Mother June has sent several super chats, and they're requesting reservation. That is uh, probably my favorite sketch on the channel. That's a non-music video, and there was a super chat involved, guys. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna honor that. We're going reservation next. This is another one that's not uh, one of the more. It's not one of the more popular ones on my channel, but it's one of my favorites. It's probably my favorite. Wow, I can't type. Uh, probably one of my it's probably my favorite non music video sketch on the channel this one um was i think is a lot of it was definitely one of the top three most expensive sketches on the channel I was uh, because i had a uh, i had a uh, a custom breastplate made for this video that i'm wearing here right here uh, I had a custom. It was made by this blacksmith in L.A. He like it's actually like a, his. It's like a big company now. Um, but they, uh, I mean, they worked on like Hook and like all these old movies. I actually got to right, when I was planning this video. I got to wear the uh, the the Hook from Hook that uh, was in the movie. He's got it in his office, and he was like, "Do you want to wear it?" And I was like, "Yes." Uh, but he made this little breastplate for me that had screw holes in it, and then we had these arrows made that had no tip, but they had screw heads on them. And so each time I got hit with another arrow, we would just screw it in and add a little fake blood. And then we did some a little bit of animation for the arrows actually flying in. Um, and that's one of the main points worth knowing before we start this. So a lot of people think I hate my job, but I don't hate my job, I love it. I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. It's just really far away, like all the way out on the west side. Uh -huh. So there's a commute and my boss is a total jerk. And I know I'm making it sound like I hate my job, but I don't hate my job, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> Excuse me. I was telling a story. What? <sighs> anyway, I don't hate my job. It's just far away, so it's kind of hard, you know? Like, all my friends are still all the way out in. <laughs> we shot this in my backyard at the time. This is actually the same place we shot Eat Randy. And my neighbors, uh, I, w I had to text to them all and say, hey, uh, tonight after sundown, you're going to hear a lot of wailing in my backyard. Everything's fine. Don't worry. And they were like, okay. <laughs> Sorry, do you need to go or something? There's an arrow in my... I'm like going through a lot right now and I'm trying to tell you about it. I'm going to die. There is no excuse. You are embarrassing me. It's just, all my friends still live in Chino, which is like forever away. So to them, they're not gonna understand because to them, everything's forever away and they don't stop complaining about it. And you know, they are never gonna get out of Chino. They're gonna be in Chino until the day they... 
Okay, you know what? I'm done. I thought you seemed like a great guy, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> that tiny purse. Tiny purse, tiny dress. Tiny awareness of arrows. Uh, so that guy right there, Josh Holt, a lot of people don't know this, but Josh, uh, this guy, he, he's also in I Wish I Was a Black Guy and Rendezvous with You. Uh, he and Amy, who is the girl opposite me in this sketch, are uh, married. I'm sorry, sir, but we're quite busy here tonight, and this table has another reservation. I'll leave this here for whenever you're ready. It was so hard holding still and holding my breath for this part. And then I had to, like, give that little jolt uh, for the last arrow. That last shot took some time to practice lifelessness. <laughs> All right, guys. What's next? Granny games. I've seen a lot of granny games in this stream. Thank you, John Corrin. Mr. Tim. I have seen a lot of Mr. Tim, too, and there's a super chat. We'll do Mr. Tim. John Corrin, which which Mr. Tim do you want? The original? The chat's going so fast. Oh, boy. I'm not sure if I'm going to even see your comment, John. Um... I'm thinking you mean the original. Milkman. Mr. Tim. Milkman. All right, here we go. Wow, who'd have thought this would be one of the most popular streams I've ever done? Just literally watching my old videos and talking about them. You guys are awesome. Okay, so... Mr. Tim the Milkman. 11 years ago. We actually live streamed the production of this video. Um, wait, this isn't the original one. Is this the one you want? Uh, he said Milkman. He said Milkman. I thought he wanted the original. All right, you want Mr. Tim the Milkman. Toyota may be the longest lasting brand. When you click to view the largest selection of Toyota inventory, you may very well see one of the shortest lasting offers, like this one. There's nothing like uh, Let's go places. Giving myself advertisements here. Donovan on my own the channel. house like he did every afternoon. Only this time, he'd be visited by none other than Mr. Tim. Salutations. Who are you, the milkman? Yeah. So we actually shot this. Uh, we shot Mr. Tim the milkman and Mr. Tim and Kill You at the same location. Um, this was my friend Britt McAdams' house. Uh, and Mr. Tim the milkman was shot in his shed. No, 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 Mr. Timnan Kill You was shot in his shed, and that's actually Brit in that video, and Mr. Timnan Kill You, the guy holding Kill You. Uh, but this is his actual house that we're shooting this video in. Have a milkman? Yeah. Does he come on Tuesdays? No. It's a pity. I could really go for a milk. Man. It's true. Mr. Tim was no milkman, but he was a stranger. What's your name? Mr. Tim. Mr. Tim. Ah, ah, ah. With an N. Mr. Tim. Benji. Donovan was fascinated by Mr. Tim. He simply had lots of work to do. What you want? Can I get your bathroom? No, you cannot use my bathroom. How about your dryer? I'm soaking wet. I'm looking right at you. You're not wet. How can I tell you're looking right at me? How do I know you're not just grazing my shoulder with that eyeball of yours? You listen here, boy. What are you doing? Today's the day. You're gonna die. Oh. Did you know that? No. Did you wake up this morning, put your pants on, and think to yourself, gee, I bet I'm gonna die today? No. And if you did, well, I gotta ask you, why'd you choose those pants? Man, I don't like these pants. When you only got one day to live, you better wear some nice pants. He wouldn't admit it, but Donovan knew that for such an occasion, he should have worn nicer trousers. You're at my place now. Uh. In my place, well. That's one place you don't want to be. You want to know why? Why? You don't want to know. You want to know why? Why? You don't want to know. You want to know why? Tell me why. Because I ain't showered in weeks. Oh. It was at that moment when Mr. Tim heard something he could not believe. Do you hear that? What? 
It's a group of people blowing their noses together. I'm actually the guy in the red hoodie in that shot. I'm gonna get me to that party. Boy! All right, Mr. Tim the Milkman. Um, thank you for that super chat, TG McGinney, M- TG Mini Me. Um, how did I come up with the character for Mr. Tim? Also, uh, there was a somebody that said, "Did I see your super chat?" And I don't know that I did. Who said that a second ago? Um, Karen Jacks, Car- Car- Carson Jackson. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Um, maybe it happened while I was in watch party mode. I, I apologize. Um, I only see two active super chats right now, and it's not yours. I'm very sorry, but thank you for the super chat. Um, uh, two super chats, one from TG McGinney Me and one from Lucian R. Um, Lucian R. Uh, uh, okay, we got to do this one first because it's expiring. Uh, TG Mini Me wants to know how I came up with mi- the character Mr. Tim. I thought uh, it'd be really f- the inspiration behind Mr. Tim is that he's a uh, he's a He's basically like an evil cat in the hat. He's basically like cat in the hat gone wrong. He's like a children's book character that uh, has escaped into real life and is running amok around the earth. That's the inspiration for Mr. Tim. Um, Lucian R. asks, uh, Akbar is one of my favorites. Still know every word. Is there any chance of you doing any new sketches or are those behind you? Thank you guys for those super chats. Very generous. Um, Yeah, I am working on some more sketches. I am going to do some more. Of course, I've got to figure out you know, I've, I've just made so many sketches. I've made hundreds of them. So, I, you know, I've got to figure out, like, how many are actually sensible at this point. But I'm never going to be done making sketches. I'll always make sketches. Even in my longest breaks, I've at least released, you know, something once per year, uh, which I re- recognize as nothing. But I've tried to give clues that I'm not ever going to stop, even if I take long breaks. I just have too many interests. I, I maybe do too many things. Um, uh, so, yeah, I, I recognize it's probably confusing. Thank you, for Carson Jackson, for that super chat. My cousin did a cover of your reading a book 11 years ago and always wanted you to see it. How can I get it to you? He's been the biggest fan. Um, wow, that thank you. Um, uh, I would say the easiest way to get it to me would be to... Uh, uh, Maybe go into the Discord server for Anonymous Live and send me a DM. Um, I'm able to read most things that come in there. I'm not able to respond to everything because uh, I, I just can't keep up with it. Uh, but uh, if you if you send me something there, I'll most likely see it. Uh, so that'd probably be the easiest way. Or you could tweet it to me. I don't really check my ads on Twitter. I just use it for news. Um, but yeah, maybe try the Anonymous Live Discord server. Um, all right, guys, what's next? We'll watch, uh, we'll go for probably another 30 minutes. Thank you, Hunter Ridpath, for the super chat. The other two episodes of Mr. Tim Trilogy, cannot tell you how many times I've said Benji and confused everyone around me. Um, we'll see. Well, I, I appreciate the super chat. Let's see, do you guys want to watch more Mr. Tim? Maybe we'll get to it in a minute. Man, so many super chats coming in requesting videos. We certainly can't get to all these. I remember back in the day when you made music video with your Jeep. I had that as my ringtone for like a year. Oh, cool. Thank you, Tank77. Um, okay. I have seen some people say back then. Uh, back then is the most expensive and most intense production on my entire channel. Uh, and I've had a bunch of requests over the years to do a commentary on that video. So maybe we'll end with that one. Does that sound good? Do you guys want to see a commentary on back then at the very end? Yay or nay. In the meantime, I'm looking at what you guys are saying is next. I've seen a bunch of people say with child. I've seen you in five minutes a bunch. Um, man, it's kind of like tied between you in five minutes and with child. There's not really much to say about with child. Thank you for the super chat, Beef Squatch. That's quite a name, <laughs> Beef Squatch. Which ones have you done already? Um, uh, which ones have we watched already? We've watched, uh, um, uh, I can't even remember, honestly. Um, I'm, uh, let's see. We've watched, uh, what do we start with? Jellyfish. We've done jellyfish. 
uh, wow, it's a lot for me to read these and try to think of what we've already watched. Um, I'll tell you if it's something we've watched. How about that? But thank you for the super chat. Uh, let's see. We already watched Eat Randy. Um, everything's okay now. I, I haven't seen that one much. Uh, that's one of my favorites. Akbar. I've seen Akbar a lot. Let's do Akbar. Akbar. We're, we're going Akbar. Okay. Ak. Wow. Come, yeah, well, I guess what, what comes after AKB? Not much. I'm amazed that this one ha did so well because it's not really funny. I mean, it, it is funny. It's comedy, but it's not like a, oh, it's not like an OMG kind of video. It's actually kind of sad and wholesome. Uh, so I was shocked when this one did well. I didn't expect this one to do well. And so Jeffrey again gets what he wants. Woke up this morning at my grandma's house and I saw a cornfield through the window. I said, Grandma, Grandma, can I go play in that cornfield? And she said, you can do whatever you want, you're like 21. I went in a cornfield today. That there was pretty much the only funny part. Um, we shot this in... I went in a cornfield. That's really the only joke, the part where the grandma says, you can do whatever you want, you're like 21. It's really the only, like, ha-ha joke in the whole thing. Um, but yeah, we shot this in Gibson City, Illinois. How many of you know where Gibson City is? None of you. Here's why. Because Central Illinois, as many of you know, is just a series of tiny towns. No, no it's, sorry. It's a series of, well, there are some tiny towns, but it's basically just a, a giant grid of cornfields and, uh, and other crops like soy and stuff, I think, but mainly corn. Um, and every now and then, instead of a, in the grid of corn, in, instead of a square of corn, you'll get a tiny little town. And that's what Gibson City is. Um, it's where my grandma uh, in this video lives, lived. She's not with us anymore. She passed years ago, sadly. She was an amazing woman. Um, and she uh, she lived there. So this was, again, one of the videos I shot. On that, uh, We shot this the same week we shot Nice Hotel and uh, Granny Games. Um, and so I was in Gibson City shooting for a few days. Um, and, uh, yeah. Today in Matt Akbar. Akbar is awesome because he never calls you names. He never really calls you anything because he's just a corn. But I like pretending that I can talk to him and he can talk to me and he's kind of funny and he knows lots of jokes when I do that. I went in a cornfield today. I went in a cornfield. I went in a cornfield today and met Akbar. Sat down for dinner. At my grandma's house when she laid down a plate of Akbar. I nearly cried Her when face. I saw my friend had died. Grandma killed him for dinner. There's not too much to say about the production of this video. It's fairly simple. I went in a cornfield today. I went in a cornfield. It's only a couple dolly moves. Very simple lighting. I went in a today Mostly natural lighting. The only time Jeffrey has harmonized, by the way, he doesn't, uh, for obvious reasons, he doesn't harmonize too much. Thank you for those super chats, Nick Lemon and uh, the ACP. Very kind to of you guys. Um, yeah, that's Akbar. Um, so this is a fun time to mention that uh, I will be, I'm announcing this here, uh, I am going to be uh, this week, uh, the c coming early next week, you will be able to get all of my original uh, old school YouTube songs, uh, including Jeffrey's stuff, 
on a single album on iTunes for a ridiculously discounted rate. We're, we've had so many people email about some songs that have just disappeared from those stores. It's mainly because I haven't kept up on the admin of those songs. Like, I'm reading a book is not up there uh, for sale anywhere anymore. Uh, I think I Wish I Was a Black Guy was taken off of Spotify uh, just because, like, these things, these these agreements lapsed, um, and uh, and I never kept up on them. Uh, but they're coming back. I'm going to be re-releasing a, a, a single album for a ridiculously discounted cost where you can get every single song in one album. Uh, kind of like a, you know, a celebratory kind of like 10-year ten, ten year history kind of thing. Um, goodness, I can't keep up with all the Super Chats, guys. Thank you, Twitchy Shuckle. Um, okay, Twitchy Shuckle is... Rec- is uh, Asking for Granny Games. Uh, thank you, Daniel Valen- Valencia. Very kind of you. Uh, we'll do Granny Games next. Because uh, we were already in Gibson City mode. And this one's funny. Grandy Games. Why my grandma. Grocery order my, actually, my great grandma. Remember- and fun fact. Uh, guys, my family genes are ridiculous. I knew not only, this was my great grandma in this video, and I knew not only her, but I knew her mother. I knew my great, great grandmother. I knew all my great grandparents, and I knew two of my great greats. That's pretty wild. Um, so yeah, I even knew this, you forgot this woman's, order. this woman's mother. Like, without fail. Who drank all the milk? I'm gonna live to Fresh be forever candy. years old, guys. I'm never gonna die. Plus. I'm Nothing can stop me with jeans like this woman's. You want to play cards? <laughs> with you? <laughs> Please. How about dominoes? Quit Sipping asking me box. to play granny games, I Okay. Mailman comes to the door, I'm playing checkers. Not good for my image. You used to love to play dominoes. Yeah, I used to love a lot of dumb things, granny. I used to love beanie babies, pogs, you, but then something amazing happened. I grew up. I got my GED. I'm too cool for school, Granny. I sure as your wheelchair ain't gonna play no dominoes. You get out of my house! I thought you'd never ask. I ain't asking, I'm telling! Yeah, I never liked your house anyway. It always smells like Indian food and fixing it. I just hope you give yourself up for adoption! Well, at least they won't ask me to play dominoes! I was going to ask you if you wanted to play Black Ops, but you blew it, kid. You play Black Ops? Yeah, I play a little bit. (laughs) On that old TV. You play video games? I'm retired, you maggot. Okay, what am I going to do with all of this money? All right, Granny, you're going to let me in the door. I'm going to be a good boy. You just let me in. Please let me in. Too late, noob. Too late, noob. I could not stop laughing when I heard her say those words. Uh, that video was uh, that video was a long time in the making. The script existed a long before we shot it, and I was like, I wonder what these words will sound like coming out of my grandmother's mouth. And it did not fail to disappoint me. Uh, thank you, Jake and Nader and Lucian R for those super chats. Uh, Lucian R. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I have, I have, I have shot some stuff with uh, the old cast a little bit uh, I shot uh, excuse me with uh, uh, Rhett and Link and Donovan which was a lot of fun um, and yeah I've got plans to shoot with uh, some of the old people and also some of some new people so there will be a lot of, a little bit of everything uh, guys if you're just joining please hit the like button if you're enjoying the stream and uh, uh, another reminder to hit the notification bell my channel is gonna it's gonna take some time before uh, all my f- subscribers here are notified when I release things because I've been dormant for so long so it really does help if you hit the like button and uh, hit the bell button so you get notified the bell button helps you skip the algorithm basically so if you have the bell notification you don't have to worry about the algorithm telling you when there's a new video so uh, it helps me and if you enjoy the streams it helps you know when we're uh, doing stuff here and it's thundering here goodness gracious I hope the stream doesn't get interrupted um, Guys, we'll go for... Yeah, I'm still seeing so many uh, requests in the chat. I'll, I'll go to. I'll go till 5 o'clock. I'll go till 5 o'clock. How does that sound? We'll do, we'll do 30 more minutes. Um, so what's next? I've seen a lot of you in five minutes.
I've seen a lot of Rendezvous with you. Rendezvous with you is uh, unlisted right now, I believe. So maybe that would be a treat. Bring it out of unlisting just for this stream. Pre-blessed food I've seen a lot too. Um, okay, let's do let's do rendezvous with you. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a special trip under the hood of the channel to pull this one out because it's not listed right now. I keep a bunch of videos unlisted at all times to keep it interesting. It's the one thing I can do to keep things interesting because I'm so inconsistent <laughs> with videos. I always have been. I've, it's something I've always done. It just keeps it fun. It's Disney does the same thing. I'm not the only one, guys. Okay. Here we go. $1,200, five thousand dollars, and this one is three thousand dollars. I want to rendezvous with you. I ran this one through the same I want to rendezvous with you. VCR. We did eat Randy on. With you. I want to rendezvous with you. Oh, ladies, ladies everywhere. And one of me, it just ain't fair for you. When I tease all the ladies, trying to get a look at these. Settle down, ladies, you'll get your turn. One of these days, you're going to learn you'll get burned. I'm on fire, turn it down, and I will slit your tires. I want to rendezvous with you. I want to rendezvous with you. I think the only joke of this video, in a phrase, would be uh, toxic masculinity. That would be the joke, I guess. Ladies, you don't even get it. I really like your style. You nearly drive me wild. I want to have your child in wedlock. Dick talk. Time is facing, ladies. You're getting older. And honestly, I'm losing interest. I want to rendezvous with you. I want to rendezvous with you. I love I Josh's chop dance move. The horizontal chop. He's moving back there. This track is so ridiculous. I'd forgotten how ri ridiculously over the top this track is. The video is pretty over the top too. I think that's a Trevor Project whistle I'm wearing in that video. I'm sure they loved that. I'm sure they loved being associated with that. Actually, I think they did. I actually think they emailed me. I remember them emailing me when that video came out, thanking me for wearing it. I believe it was Trevor Project who did those whistles back in the day. I wonder if they still do that. Um, okay. Uh, so what's next, guys? We have not done Malk yet. I see that from Canadian Ninja. We haven't done Malk yet. Um... I've seen we already did red eye flashes twice. I've seen a lot of you in five minutes. Should we do you in five minutes? All right, I think it's probably time for you in five minutes. Uh, I keep seeing people saying back then we'll do that one last. Uh, people keep requesting that one. We'll do that at the end. Uh, we'll do you in five minutes. You in five minutes. Introducing the new three-for-one bundle, only from Xfinity. Get unlimited internet, streaming, and Xfinity Mobile, all for what you could pay wireless companies for just one 5G unlimited line. It's a whole new way to save with Xfinity. If I'm logged into my own channel, I should be able to skip an ad on my own channel. Sir, don't open that box. Why are all these in the middle? Look who it is. Right on time. He's, he's got the box. He's got the box. Did you just leave him alone? Needless to say, this scene He's took fine. forever. He's got the box! Where did you guys come from? I'm you in five minutes. And I'm you in 30 minutes. 
Within half an hour, he'll be on this side of the table arm wrestling you, and I will have grabbed that box that you're carrying there, and I'll be running out the door, going Lord knows where. All right, right, so, so, so we're the same person, separated by a couple of minutes, but we're wearing different pants. Looks like you number one yourself there, partner. <laughs> Yo, son, don't open that box. Who are you? I'm all of y'all in an hour. Oh no. Do not open, give me the box. Do, no, don't grab it, don't, don't, it's mine. Wait, don't shake it. Wait, you grabbed it. No, but you shake it, don't shake it. This box came for me. Oh, oh, what? oh, don't do that. Don't, don't do what? Don't do what you just did. What did I just shut up, be quiet, chill out. You're making me angry. Uh-oh. Let's all just take a giant chill pill. Let's talk about this. Be cool. It's empty. So, a lot of people... What do you mean it's empty? Most of most of you on my Box channel have empty. seen this video. Um, what do you mean it's empty? But not a lot of you have seen Kidnapped Season 2 all the way through. If you like this video, you, you gotta watch Kidnapped Season 2 all the way through. You, you Dude, skip Season 1. Tell me what happened. I'm not gonna say why. Yeah, I don't want to spoil like, it. Uh, something happened no earlier. Way, no, you haven't. No, look, you got in the car and you haven't spoken to me since you got in the car. Clearly, something happened earlier, and you're not spilling it. What? What's up, man? Come on. Why are you being like that? It'll be okay, man. You can tell us. So David Seaver's here in the back. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for the photo. He was uh, one of the original. No, it's not like that. Maker Studios employees us. back It'll before be they okay. got bought by Disney. You guys really want He had never been on camera then. at this point. I don't think at yes. the time he wasn't used to being on camera, but he what? agreed to be in this, and now. Uh, He's run, a, he's, he's run a bunch of different companies over the got years. got a package in the mail. After they got, got acquired by Maker, he kind of started his own it. thing. Okay. And it was empty. Seems like he's done well for himself. What? There was nothing in the box. Like, okay, so you got a package. Yes. You opened it. It was empty. And there was nothing Gone. in it. Gone. Gone. Serious. And the joke of this scene is that my it's character just, is I'm not sorry, letting man, on, is not acknowledging. I've, like, the crazy I thing that know. happened today was not that he met a bunch of clones of himself. No, you do. He said he got an empty box. It's not your fault. Did you tell your family? Drop it. I made this for you! Thank you, uh, Daniel Valencia, for that super chat, and uh, TG Mini-Me for that super chat. TG Mini-Me asks, what DAW slash software did you use to make your songs, and did you mix and master them myself? Um, I use Pro Tools and uh, Logic Pro, and uh, I generally do mix and master myself, uh, although my B story album i did not mix or master myself i had those sent off to a professional an actual professional uh i had too much going on at the time i probably could have mixed and mastered them but i'm not like the best at mixing and mastering i'm okay i'm okay at it uh for someone who's been doing it a long time i'm horrible at it but i'm okay at it i understand the concept of mixing and mastering i actually do enjoy doing it um okay so guys we're gonna do we probably have time for three more of these we already did I'm reading a book. I'm seeing some people say that. Uh, let's see here. Everything's okay now. I've seen that a lot. I've also seen Technojeep a lot. Um, maybe Technojeep is next. Let's do Technojeep. Technojeep is up. Here we go. I'm trying to pick videos that uh, have some good commentary to them. I'm trying to ride the line between giving you what you ask for and also... Uh, picking videos that I know have good commentary in them. Techno Jeep took forever to make. Uh... While Toyota may be the longest lasting brand. This video started with me to view the largest selection of Toyota uh, inventory. You may very in a garage well recording sounds like that the Jeep one. made and I assembled Toyota, them in a DAW in a in a in a sequencer. And uh, uh, assembled like a, a rough demo of what the song would sound like. And then I sent the track uh, to uh, my friends, a bunch of friends who were percussionists and musicians, and had them practice different, each individual part. And uh, and we all practiced for like three weeks. And uh, getting that. Then we did it. Action. This guy, right here, Jeremy Hundley. Shout out to Jeremy Hundley. He's he's a real he's a big time real estate agent now, and he has uh, helped me buy two houses. Good guy. 
This is my cousin Garrett. Uh, he plays Jacquees in some videos. I'm just trying to think of people that you guys might know. Oh, I guess you don't really know Jeremy. Oh yeah, this is Josh Taylor, actually. Some of you might know Josh Taylor. He runs a channel called Blimey Cow. We both grew up in Nashville. Back no jeep. Can't believe the life that one has lived. Pretty wild. Uh, actually, techno jeep. Uh, I wasn't sure if people were gonna. <laughs> this is like this is actually a great lesson for any aspiring artists out there. Techno jeep. I I shit you not. I shit you not. I had just. I, I it was one of the first things I shot on my channel. I shot this before I was making any money on YouTube, uh, and. When it when I saw the final product, I thought eh, it's not ready. It's not good. People, I, I had been looking at it for. Keep in mind, I had been looking at it for so long that I didn't realize what I was looking at anymore. By the time it was finished, I was so desensitized to it um, that I sat on this video. It literally sat on a hard drive for months, completely finished, before I decided to release it. And I was struggling to pay rent in L.A. when I first moved there. And I finally was like, you know what? I'm just going to release it one day. I was like, what do I have to lose? I just need to release this. And it immediately went viral and was like on like a bunch of news channels and immediately went viral and paid my rent for a long time. Not this single video, but it, it ended up spurring a bunch of uh, uh, traffic on my channel. Uh, and it and I, I sat on it for months thinking it was no good. I had just been looking at it for too long. I thought maybe it wasn't ready yet, needed something. And then, so let that be a lesson to you guys. Uh, you... You just you never know until you just put stuff out there. You gotta try. Okay. Thank you for the super chat, the ACP one twenty seven and forty three eyes. Um, forty three eyes is requesting the, the chocolate milk sketch. We've got a we've got a couple. We've got a time for like two or three more of these. Um, I want to know what do you guys think about chocolate milk? I had a super chat requesting it. But there've been there's also been a lot of videos you guys have been requesting since the beginning that we haven't got to yet. I've seen Carphone and Eat Randy ne never get naked. We already did those. Um, you can watch that in the replay for the commentary later. Um, handbag. There's not too much commentary on handbag. That I mean, there's some. Uh, I've seen Malk a lot. We haven't done Malk. I guess we can't end this stream without doing Malk, can we? We got to do Malk. All right, let's do Malk next. And then depending on the response, maybe we'll do chocolate chocolate milk. We'll do milk and then maybe chocolate milk. How about that? Let's do milk. Twelve years ago, guys. Crazy. Challenge something scary. Challenge accepted. Purdue University Global, affordable online education for driven working adults. Apply now at purdueglobal.edu. Hey Donovan, you got anything to drink? Yeah, in the fridge. Hey Josh, uh, grab me a glass of milk. They don't have any milk, but I can get you some milk. That's what he just said. Yeah, it's just some milk. No, you're saying it wrong. You're saying milk, like it's a disease. <laughs> How do you say it? I'm saying it the way everyone ought to say it. Milk, M-I-L-K. Right, like 2%. Right, whole milk. No, 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 no. Say milkshake. Milkshake. Okay, now say milk. Milk. 
Are you hearing this? Yeah. The man wants a glass of milk. Milk? Give him the milk, Josh! Donovan, inside voices, please. So this guy uh, is Mason Cooper, uh, and he was my dad's college roommate and has become one of my dearest friends. Uh, and uh, I lived with them for... Uh, I don't know how much time total, but, but when I first moved to LA, they helped me get my feet up from underneath me. I stayed with them for a long time in this very house. Uh, this is there. This is actually his house that we shot in. Uh, wonderful people. Sorry, Dad. My white friends. Josh, pour me a glass of milk. Why are you yelling at me? This is Josh Lovell. Actually, funny story about Josh Lovell. He's also one of my. He's he's got to be my oldest non-familial friend. Uh, met him in 2005. He's uh, he was one of my, he's he's been one of my just closest brother. He's he's a brother. Uh, he's an amazing guy. He's a very talented musician, producer, uh, and also a very talented writer. Also hysterically funny. Um, he doesn't uh, he doesn't act anymore. He doesn't like being on camera. He he's just very um, to himself. I've tried so hard to get him to be in more stuff, but he just he just doesn't want to do it, and I respect it. It's fine. Uh, but anyways, yeah, he Josh and I have a really funny story about how we met. <laughs> I, it was like 2005, and uh, I was at a Chick-fil-A restaurant with some friends, and there was a girl working at the counter um, that I wanted to go talk to, and I was waiting for a moment where she wasn't busy at the register uh, to go talk to her. Uh, and the moment finally came and my friends are like, go now it's time. And so I walk up there after like 10 minutes of deliberation, I walk up and as soon as I get up there, she's gone. She's walked into the back and Josh right here has taken over her register. And it was a total shock to me. And he goes, the, f the first words this man ever said to me was, hi there. What can I get you? And I was like, duh, cause I, th I was just going up there to talk to this girl. I didn't need anything. I already had my food. And, uh, and so I was, I was trying to stall, so I ordered an ice cream cone or a milkshake or something just to buy some time. And then the girl came out, and she was like, hey, you're on my register. And then that girl and I ended up dating for two years. And because of that, Josh and I became very good friends because they were friends. And uh, the girl and I didn't last, but Josh and I did. And uh, it's just a matter of time until Josh and I get married. Just give him the freaking mall. You guys aren't even saying the same thing. We're all saying Malk, Josh. No, you're saying Malk. You're saying Malk. And then after that, we pull the trigger, all of us. So this ending, um, I, this was like four months later after we shot the video, maybe even longer. It, this video stayed incomplete on a hard drive. This is actually another good uh, lesson in here for all you uh, aspiring artists. Um, this video stayed on my hard drive, existing. It used. It originally ended here. Uh, it was all I had written. I, I had a feeling when I was writing this that this couldn't be it couldn't end here but this is all i i knew this would be enough we, we went to this location shot this scene out and then in the edit uh it, it was confirmed for me when i saw it that it wasn't finished and it needed something else and so this is a, this is a good example of a time where deliberation does help a video because if we had ended the video here as it was originally supposed to end uh, it wouldn't have done so well the reason this video does so well is because it goes crazy here and then this ending scene, which was shot like four or five months later, uh, it, uh, that's the reason the video did well, in my opinion. And then after that, we pull the trigger, all of us. No, we are not filming something like that. Why not? It's so dark. I don't know. No, 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 you Josh, I didn't call you back, man. I'm really busy. <laughs> I love the, uh, the shadow the cat, the cat casts on the... <laughs> The oven in the end. it's like seeing its little head in there it's so funny goodness gracious uh all right that's malk you guys asked for it there it is i've seen a lot of people talking about truth um 
uh, that one surprises me. I almost want to watch it just because I haven't seen that one in so long. Um, uh, what does it mean your hand is like a brother to me? Thank you for the super chat, TG Mini Me. You have uh, been very generous today. Uh, it's just absurd. Uh, it's like I was basically like, don't read too much into it. It's just us being ridiculous. Uh, I guess you could say I was concerned about his hand that was holding the gun. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, I've seen a lot of people. I'm, I'm, I've seen a lot of people say truth. I've seen a lot of people say pronoun and noobs. So which one do you want to see? Uh, right now we're down to either truth or pronoun and noobs. You guys tell me. Hot Kool Aid. I've seen a lot of hot Kool Aid. Goodness, guys, is this gonna go past five o'clock? This might go past five o'clock. Uh, uh, you're all saying hot Kool Aid. Truth, noobs, truth, noobs, truth, hot Kool-Aid, noobs. Okay, okay. so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Here's the rest of the stream, guys. I've got the order. We're going to go Pernone and noobs, truth, uh, and then, oh, man, what was the other one that was really requested? Uh, hot Kool-Aid after that. So it'll go truth, Pernone and noobs, hot Kool-Aid, and then we'll end on back then. Because back then was actually uh, the reason this idea came originally came to me somebody said a bunch of people have said over the years they want to see a commentary on that video so we'll we'll go we'll go truth sorry pronoun and noobs truth hot kool-aid back then here we go uh pronoun in oh i'm in the wrong place youtube pronoun in <laughs> Come on, guys. You, what kind of noobs don't know how to spell noobs? What is this? What is this, noobs? You guys are ridiculous. Okay. So this is a the new takeout video. Bundle, only from Xfinity. It's a outtakes. Internet, streaming and Xfinity Mobile, all for what you could pay for all you Gen Zers. I'm joking. Just line. Yeah, that's it's what I call take uh, outtakes on this Xfinity. channel. Is takeout. Switch today. Um. This is uh. Yeah. Okay, so you remember how last time I taught you that noob word? And I had to talk really yeah. I had to I'm talk really loud. I'm going to teach you another one today, okay? My grandmother was hard it's, of hearing. Uh, That's why I'm shouting poning. in this video. Pony. Poning. Spell it for me. P O W N I N G. Poning. Poning. Yeah. Poning. And it means like uh you're winning. Yeah, okay. Okay? Uh or you're or you're beating someone at a game. Okay? okay? So you're going to say I, my line is that's what grannies are for. And then you say, grannies are for poning noobs. Poning? Yeah, poning noobs. Okay. Grannies are for pruning. Poning? Poning? Yeah. And, and noobs? Yeah, poning noobs. Poning noobs. This woman's amazing, go. guys. She she had uh, polio, um, and uh, she that's why she's in a wheelchair. She was in a wheelchair for most of her life, uh, and she was the most incredible human. She had polio that completely crippled one leg but she had one leg that was basically two legs it was so strong uh, and this woman could walk around on one leg uh, and she also uh, a fun fact she would wrestle she would leg wrestle grown men and win with her good leg she would have friends over for dinner in her you know and when she was a little bit younger and her and she would literally get on the ground with her friend's husbands and leg wrestle them and flip grown men over with her good leg. That was my great grandma. No, grannies are pronoun noobs. You'll get it. It's almost there. Grannies are pronoun noobs. For ponin noobs. For ponin noobs. You'll get it. Practice it again. Grannies are for pronoun noobs. I guess these, noobs. that's the kind so of stuff people did before TV and it's ponin. the internet, I guess. They oh, leg wrestle ponin. each other. Grannies are supposedly. for. Grannies are for. Ponin noobs. Ponin noobs. Now see if you got it. Grannies are ponin noobs. Do you understand what you're saying to me? I think so. Let me hear you say, grannies are for beaten noobs. Grannies are for beaten noobs. Now change beaten for ponin. Grannies are pronoun and noob. <laughs> well, to me the word is ponin. Yeah. Is that what I'm saying? You're saying pernonin. Pernonin. And I want you to say for ponin. Grannies are pronoun and noobs. You said pernonin again. You'll get it. 
We'll practice. Grannies are for ponin noobs. Grannies are for ponin noobs. We got it. That's it. All right, now let okay. me hear you say it mad. Practice here with me. Grannies are for ponin noobs. Great. And action. Grannies are for ponin noobs. <laughs> You said she had the F. She had the F there. That was for known and noobs. Again. Oh no. For ponin. For ponin. For ponin. Grannies are for known and noobs. You said for known and again. <laughs> so if you listen carefully, the cameraman here, Justin, uh, this is Justin Johns, who I uh, shouted out earlier. I, I showed his uh, face in car phone earlier. Uh, he's behind the camera here, and he is one of the most stoic people I've ever met. And I have never, I've known him a long time. I have, to this day, never seen him laugh so hard uh, as he did, as he's doing right here in this moment. I'll back it up a little bit just so you can hear him. He's, he's like crying. Uh, he was, he was sobbing. But, <laughs> and the camera is like, you'll see it. The camera's like going all over the place. <laughs> it's okay. You'll get it. Don't, don't get discouraged. For Ponin. For Ponin. For Ponin. You'll get it. Now, I'll, I can get that. You, have to, you have to listen, but you can hear him crying ponin. back there. Yep, yep. Ponin. Grannies are for ponin noobs. That's it. You got it. Now say it to me mean. Grannies are for ponin noobs. Oh, you scared me. That was good. <laughs> that was good. You ready? Let's try okay. it again. <laughs> <laughs> You're making Justin laugh. <laughs> oh, she's so amazing. <laughs> are you okay? All right, here we go. Ready? Let's see your mean face. Grannies are Pannonian noobs. <laughs> did I say that word again? Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> Grannies are for Pannonian noobs. Yeah, yeah. Grannies are for Pannonian noobs. Yep. You got it. You got it. I believe in you. Okay. All right, here we go. This was back in the day of YouTube annotations. You used to be able to click this. There's so many things on my channel that need updating. I actually wonder. I think this video did better than the sketch itself. No, it didn't. Okay, so Pi has more views. But yeah, I mean, two, two million views on a behind the scenes video is pretty good. Uh, she is something else. Okay, so next we're going straight into truth. I actually can't remember this video very well. Oh, it's another one with, with Wheezy. While I know that much. Maybe the longest lasting brand. When you click to view the largest selection of Toyota inventory, you may very well see one of the shortest lasting offers, like this one. Toyota, let's go places. I don't know. Craig, there's only this, one piece. This is pizza from uh, one of my favorite pizza places in uh, this neighborhood I was living at the time in West Hollywood. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. Um, it wasn't, it, it sounded, it was, I want to say it was like, it sounded a lot like Domino's, but it wasn't definitely wasn't Domino's. It was like a local mom and pop place, like Dum Dum Demios or something like that. I can't remember. Left. I don't even know if it's still around. What? There's only one piece left. What are we gonna do, Julian? I don't know, Craig. I don't know. Can I think for a second? All right, uh, this this is this is it's not a big deal. We can uh we, we we can we can do pizza bites. I'll take a bite. You take a bite. I'll take a bite. You take a bite. No. Why not? Cause that's gross. Why is that gross? Your mouth is on the same thing my mouth is on? Let's just cut it in half. Sure, we can cut the pizza in half. Maybe uh, maybe uh, next time you're hanging out with Johnny and I want to do something with you, I'll cut you in half. I don't even want the last slice. I know you want it, Craig. I just said I don't. Your mouth's telling me no. Your eyes are telling me yes. Quit treat me like a date and eat it. Craig, what is this friendship based on? You can, can hear I... me go, you can hear me going hoarse here. I trust you if I can't trust you. Are you taking estrogen? I thought this was about the pizza. <laughs> Yeah, nice. What's that? Estrogen. Pizza. I'm taking the last slice if you guys just aren't gonna have it. Oh. Mm. Mm. I've forgotten oh, yeah. this video. Johnny! Johnny. Johnny. So, you guys remember how later that night Johnny was killed in that hit? Let's see if we can recreate that. Let's see if we can recreate that real quick with some reverb. Where's my reverb chain? Let's see. Where is it? Reverb. Here we go. Oh yeah. Johnny. Not quite the same. Not the same effect at least. It was impromptu. I had five seconds. Give me a break. Run. Yeah. It was me. I killed Johnny. 
for crying out loud, man. This is supposed to be fun. All right, Craig, now it's your turn. Truth or dare? <laughs> I made this for you! So ridiculous. Okay, let's go even more ridiculous. Hot Kool-Aid. Wow, somebody did a VeggieTales remake of Hot Kool-Aid. That's funny. Never saw that. Morning, brother. Hello, brother. Oh, fun uh, fact about th this. This was actually one of the most fun uh, set experiences of, uh, of, of any video. It's at least top three, four. Uh, I'll just say top five. It was top five uh, experiences on a set for stuff on my channel. We just, everybody was having so much fun. Uh, there's a beh behind the scenes video somewhere uh, of, of this video. I'll see if I can find it and repost it. Uh, but it, it was just such a blast. <clears throat> I went hoarse for a whole week after this video. I literally couldn't speak for like a, a whole solid week after making this video. My voice was just like this. I thought I might not get it back. Um, so yeah, this video ruined my voice for a while. And uh, uh, what else is noteworthy about this video? Um, I was going to say something else, but I can't remember. You don't oh. make a... I do remember this video. Uh, so I, I, I did a bunch of work with David and Goliath, the, the ad agency, one of my favorite ad agencies. And uh, we were um, trying to sell Kia on some some ideas we had uh, while I was there on a contract. And uh, and it, it was myself in this meeting and two of Kia's Kia Motors top uh, executives for in their marketing department. And then uh, David uh, Angelo from David and Goliath, the owner, and then uh, two of his executives and, and myself in the room. And we were, he wanted to show them Malk. And so we watched Malk in this meeting. And keep in mind, these are like, we're in this, we're in the room with these like old, old Korean guys. I was like, are they going to even like get these jokes? So we watched Malk and they loved it. And then David was like, uh, you want to show them one more? And I was like, sure. So I showed them this one because I was like, they, they loved the yelling so much. I was like, yeah, I'll show them another one where we're yelling. And they did not understand this one at all. Like you could have heard a pin drop and it was so awkward the entire time. Like they, I, I don't think they had ever heard of Kool-Aid maybe. I don't know if that was it or if the British accents were throwing them or if, if it's the fact that I'm in this damn bathrobe. I mean, it could have been any number of things or all of them, but that they did not like this one. It was hilarious. A part of Kool-Aid. Well, I, I did. Is it hot? Maybe, maybe not. It's hot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hot Kool-Aid. I can put some ice in it if you like. No, oh, no, I'm not thirsty. Brother! I'm not gonna drink it! I made this for you. No! Drink it! No! I want you to drink this! I'm not drinking it! Drink this right now or I'll pour it on the floor and I'll blame it on you! Oh yeah, real mature. I made this for you! Now why don't you grow there up? There it is. I did! Because I, did. I love you! Well, I'm not gonna <laughs> drink it. I hate you! That's all I ever hear anymore. Brother, try this. Brother, try that. Remember that? What was it? Cinnamon toast and, uh... What was it? Mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. That was a good idea. You didn't make a single pound. I made a pound of cinnamon toast with mayonnaise. Uh, don't forget Rocky Road with Tabasco, So this is, right? this is uh, Stephen Brockman here. I wonder how he's doing. I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, but I also met Stephen Brockman through the, the girl uh, at Chick-fil-A. Uh, she introduced me to Josh Lovell and this guy. Uh, so, you know, things things come to an end, but can still happen for good reasons. Was that three hospitalized? That three women hospitalized. You drink this right now! Drink your own hot Kool-Aid. There's so much left of it. What am I going to do with all this hot Kool-Aid? Drink it! No! Yes! No! Brother. Yes. Please. Okay. We had to shoot most of this video with okay. a with an audio pad, uh, which is uh, basically like to say it was so loud on set that the micro there was nothing we could do to for the microphones other than to put a, a massive pad on them. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like that.
And this is a reference, this part here, uh, this is Mark Sevilla riding by on a red bicycle. This whole thing, he's got a little gas can here with a flower in it. A lot of people didn't pick up on this, but this is from a music video I directed for him called Carried Away. He's a musician, um, and I made a music video for him called Carried Away, and I think it was probably 2006. Uh, and it's a video of him on a bike and with this gas can. So this, this part here is a throwback to that music video. Gonna go get that All right, that was hot Kool-Aid. Um, okay, we're actually making pretty good time. I know I'm like 30 minutes over what I said I was going to do, uh, but we're having a good time. Are there any final requests before we end with Back Then? I think we could probably do one more of these sketches. Uh, we've already done Eat Randy. Um, anything else you guys want to see before we wind down the stream? We're going to save Back Then for the last because there's a lot in that one. I've seen people say Louis Sebastian. I've seen I've seen waffles a lot. Waffles. Yeah, there's a lot of waffles. In fact, that's the opening line. <laughs> that's a lot of waffles. Okay, let's do waffles. Let's do waffles and then we'll get into then we'll get into back then. All right. So this is a fun fact. Uh, Rhett and Link, uh, this was the first the first thing they were in on my channel. It was the second thing I shot with them. The first thing I shot with them was uh, uh, Perfect Bathroom Trip. It was on their channel. Um, and then this was the first time they were on mine. Uh, and I remember they were... Uh, it was just, it's just so funny. These guys have come such a long way. They're such, uh, such good performers now. But at the time, uh, there, there were, there was a lot of, uh, it was the first time they had like played characters. Uh, they were, I mean, they're admittedly being versions of themselves, but I remember like there was a lot of, uh, there was a lot of talk about the act and, and the, the motivation behind the scene and all that. Like there, there was a lot of, uh, I don't think they had done a lot of acting on other people's channels. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So there was, a, it was, it was kind of a, uh, not a new thing for them, but it was definitely not something that they had done a lot of. And so a lot of time was spent in this video um, just talking about the motivation behind the scene. That's a lot of waffles. You ate all the waffles? Yes, I did. Could have asked us if we wanted any. Nuh-uh, if I give you the waffles, I won't get any. Link, would you like a waffle? There is no more waffles. I have them all. I know, it's an example. Why, yes, Red. I think I would like two waffles. You can't, you want two of them? So if Link gets two waffles, and I get two waffles, that still leaves eight waffles for you. I don't want eight waffles. I want 12. I want 12 of them. If you can seriously eat all those waffles, I will personally drive you to the store to buy some more. I just, I just don't know why you guys get all the waffles. You still have more waffles than Rhett and me combined. They're mine. I got them from the freezer and I put them on my plate. You guys are being selfish. So there it is. It's perfect. This commercial is a no-brainer for the Willy Waffle Company. The clients are gonna love it. We shot oh. this scene, uh, and here's Kasim G. Uh, shout out to Kasim. Hope you're doing well, sir. Um, we shot this scene at the Smash Cuts office, the production office for Smash Cuts. Uh, they were kind enough to let us use their office for this scene. No, yeah, no, we love the video. Um, it's just that your uh, your friend there. What's his deal? Is he is he retarded? No, um, he no, ate a jelly no, no, no. Ate a jellyfish. Ate a jellyfish. We may want to recast. It's just a thought. We, we'll talk about it later. This commercial is gonna make me famous. I might. I remember there was a lot of deliberation over whether we should use the word retarded, um, but it was a, it was a question that people were asking a lot about Jeffrey at the time. Um, and, it, and so we just decided to go with it because he's not, he's, he's not, uh, it, you know, it's, it's Jeffrey's own fault that he is the way that he is. Uh, so we just called it out. Um, all right, guys, we got to wind down the stream. We're going to do one last video. This, uh, this video is the reason this idea, uh, came up in the first place to do all this commentary. Uh, so many people have asked over the years for me to do a commentary on the B story music video for back then. Um, this is the most expensive thing on my channel in terms of production. Uh, it's also the most complicated production on my channel. Uh, let's see some quick 
facts about this my video before we get in. And my name is Mariam. Uh, this, this is, is how, how we found the truth. So uh, my company, Paper Town, produced this. Uh, let's see here, some quick facts. Uh, this is part of a, a short EP I did in 2013 called Quantum Mechanics, and uh, this was the title track. Um, and so much went into this video, so much storyboarding, so much scripting, a lot of uh, thought about casting. We actually didn't do a proper casting for this because I knew all the people I wanted to be in it, so we just ca called them directly. Um, all the visual effects in this, uh, the main, uh, was, was, was led by a badass named uh, Bruce Jurgens. He's, he's a legendary um, visual effects supervisor. He worked on The Day, day After Tomorrow. Um, I believe he worked on Independence Day and uh, a bunch of other big movies. He's like he's like an old, real old school visual effects guy. Uh, we were so fortunate to have him work on this uh, for all the visual effects. And uh, yeah, um, here we go. Shot this in Nashville. Um, I actually built for this little envelope here. Um, I think I still have this envelope and the light that goes in it. I actually built the little LED that's in there. Um, it's a little LED diode with uh, a nine volt battery attached to it. It's literally all it is. And this envelope got so hot so quick um, that I could only hold it for like a minute at a time. And so we did it. We had to do a bunch of these takes separated by like, um, I wanna say five or 10 minutes just to let the, the element cool down because it actually got quite hot probably because it was so ghetto, <laughs> the way we, I rigged it. Show me shot this uh, at my cousin Matt's house. Uh, this uh, Matt Gilbert, uh, shouting you out, sir. Um, he's been really involved with my prank streams, and uh, uh, this was his house here. The picture, I'll try my best to see. What happened to us? We had to look forever for this fridge, uh, and then we had it retrofitted with some stuff here from the art department. They did a pretty good job making it look like I wanted it to look kind of ghetto, uh, but like uh, my 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 angle on this was like I wanted it to kind of look like a Doc Brown invention, like kind of hodgepodge, but it works. Like it's like this barely functioning machine. Baby, I've lost the man. It's really funny. The, a quick, a quick, uh, another quick thing about these visual effects. Um, it these visual effects almost, almost turned out to be horrible. They got off to a rough start. It wasn't Bruce Jurgens' fault. Uh, I didn't know Bruce at the time, and now he's become a good friend. After we, after this video, we became good friends. We've worked on a bunch of stuff together over the years. Um, he's amazing. But uh, at this time, his company was handling the visual effects, and um, and there was a there was a person. Uh, on the team who was leading this project at the beginning, and when the when the uh, when the draft renders first started coming in for this, they were nothing like the storyboards, and I got super concerned because they were they were not the quality we were going after, uh, and I got really concerned, and so I called Bruce directly, and I was like, hey man, like this isn't gonna fly. We're spending a bunch of money. Like these have to be right, and he was like, what are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about, and and when he when he saw them, he was like when he because he hadn't it turned out he bruce hadn't seen what was being done and when he saw it he was like oh yeah you're right and so he personally head of the company uh took this project over and salvaged it saved this project uh without his help uh it would have been uh in a much different place at the end so I, we were super lucky to get him on this uh and it turned into a fruitful friendship I mean, these effects hold up to this day. They still look so good. He's the man. We shot this at, uh, which high school was this? In Nashville. They were so uh, amazing for letting us use this school. I, I wish I could remember where it was. Uh, man, I can't remember the name of the school. They were so generous. And a, lo a lot of these extras were um, members of the school, students of the school and parents. And, and even some of the faculty of the school was in this. But I, I apologize. I can't remember the name of the school. It was so long ago. I 
This is my brother Jude. I'll try uh, my best. We had to paint. Uh, uh, we had to. Use, I think we put See? paint on his teeth to recreate my gap. Um, but yeah, that's my brother. I don't want to be sorry. I don't want to give in. I just want to remember what it was like back then. I'm with you on the way out, but on the way in. I just want to remember what it was like back then. Drinking hot Kool-Aid on the roof. <laughs> I understand you're worried. So this guy here, Stephen Fisher, you don't see his face, but he uh, was, he used to babysit me uh, when I was a little, little kid. He went to my parents' church. He was actually the pastor's son, uh, and now I think he's a youth pastor somewhere. Uh, I have not, uh, I haven't talked to him in years. I wonder how he's doing. But yeah, he he was kind enough to come be in this. Um, he's a, he's an old friend. He used to throw my ass in a in a little. Uh, it actually sounds kind of creepy in hindsight, but I assure you, it was uh, there was nothing weird going on. But he used to wrap my my siblings and I up in a blanket while my parents were gone. <laughs> this is getting weird, guys. When I was li really little, we used to love it. He would wrap, he would take a blanket, wrap us up in it, and then he would swing the, he was a big guy back in the day, he maybe still is, I don't know, but he used to swing the blanket around in circles, uh, and just like, like a roller coaster, and we would just lap it up, and uh, it was a lot of fun. This doesn't feel the same, but I won't give up. I'll Sorry guys, full screen. My best, I won't give up. I'll try my best. I won't give up. I'll try my best to see, to see, to see. I don't wanna be sorry. I don't wanna give in. I just wanna remember what it was like back then. Hey, you could say this is me in 15 years. It's like a sequel to uh, you in five minutes. That actress is uh, Cammy York. I believe she's still acting. We had a huge light in this room for this last shot. This room was so hot. And the idea there is that I'm walking into the, it's almost like the envelope that um, goes throughout that whole video. Like I'm, I'm looking at it here. It's like this envelope that, uh, it's like this mysterious relic that was left by, uh, that, that I held on to for years. The idea is that that envelope um, was the girl's. It, it belonged to her, it's something he gave him and uh, he held on to it. Uh, by he, I mean the character in the video, uh, which I'm playing, but it's a character. Uh, the idea is that the girl gave him something, and the girl got away, but he held on to the thing she gave him, and he goes back in time and forces him to uh, reconnect with the girl, and then when my character goes back uh, to his present timeline, uh, his bedroom is not just a bedroom anymore. It's uh, It's been enveloped by this envelope. Enveloped by the envelope, uh, and it's, it's like I'm walking, it's like the, the envelope has uh, exploded, basically, and I'm walking into the light that was once in the envelope. So that's the story. That's the B story. Um, that's back then. That, was, that, that video was so much fun to make. It was also very difficult to make. There's some amazing behind-the-scenes photos um, that I might be able to find if you give me a second. Would you guys like to see 
would you like to stick around and see if I can find some behind the scenes photos? It's a Hail Mary for me. I'm not prepared to do it, but I might have some. Let's see here. Let's see if I can even find them easily. Goodness, I don't even know where I'd find these. Let's see. I'm way into overtime now, but a bunch of people are still here. You guys haven't left. Let's see if I can find some photos to share. Uh, great time to, if you just joined. If you haven't liked the video yet, uh, it does help so much. Also, hit the bell notification. I don't, I don't make a habit of saying that on other streams because the other streams we do are a lot more subdued and about. Uh, they're not so much about me, but I will take the opportunity here. If you haven't hit the bell and the the like button, it helps the channel so much. I am rebooting my channel right now, so every little bit helps. Much appreciated. Thank you guys. You've been awesome today. And right now, I'm trying to find these photos. There's, a pre there's some pretty cool ones, especially from the school. Um, it, might, it could take me up to three minutes to get these. Just heads up. Again, I was not prepared to show photos, but seems only natural. Here we go. I found them. Okay, I gotta download them from this server. Hmm. Okay, they're downloading. They're downloading from an encrypted server, so it's going to take a second, but I did find them. Man. Okay. Coming in hot, guys. Probably T minus 90 seconds. Oh, I wonder if the one picture I wanted to show is even in this folder. I'm not sure it is. Uh, let's see. It doesn't appear to be. Where would those be? I will show this. Um, if you were in the, uh, while we're waiting here, I did find these. Uh, there was a guy I used to, there was a guy in the, one of the last streams we did where I was showing some old videos. Um, I showed a video, an, an old movie I made called Action Hero 2. And there was a kid I used to babysit uh, that was in that stream. He's like a he's like a grown adult now, uh, and he found these. Let's see if I can put this into the stream window. Uh, he found these newspaper clippings from when Action Hero Two was getting publicity. Uh, put these in here for you guys to enjoy while I'm <laughs> looking for photos. These were in the Tennessee, and uh, which I was I lived in Nashville at the time. Uh, Let's see, there's also this one. So if you were there while we showed Action Hero 2, these are relevant to that. I was talking about these, but I couldn't find them. And Michelangelo, the kid I used to babysit, actually sent me these um, through Discord recently. It's pretty cool. Okay, um, still looking for... There's one photo in particular I'm looking for. And um, 
Not sure where it is. Um, scrolling, 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 scrolling. I'm just scrolling through a bunch of stuff, guys. So you're probably gonna hear some noises. It's possible you hear some noises from my computer. Computing. Here's a, uh, no, I'm not gonna show that. And here's a previs for back then. Oh, here's some, here's some outtakes from back then. More back then stuff we can watch while I'm trying to find these photos. These are some outtakes. That's Chris Adams, he was DPing the video. Wait, that's not right. What happened? Oh, I know what's going on. Sorry, guys. Bear with me. Uh, here we go. This will work. Man, I can't find what I'm looking for. Such a bummer. There's one picture in particular that I really want to find. There's some outtakes. Okay. Well, I can show these. There's one picture I really wanted to find that I'm having a hard time locating. It's actually on my Twitter. Maybe I can find it there real quick. Here's some, uh, give me give me 30 more seconds to see if I can dig it up on Twitter. I think I put it there. It's possible. And I, with, with as little as I post on social media, it should be pretty easy to find. It was from 2013. <laughs> should only take me uh, 90 seconds to find if it's in fact there. Wonder how many times I've posted since 2013. see how quickly I can get there. You guys are awesome for waiting. I'm already in 2018, guys. That's how little I post. Twenty sixteen. Looks like I was fairly active in 2015. Okay, now we're getting close. We're in 2013, I believe now. Almost. Would have been March. If you've stuck around this long, you guys are champions. You guys are awesome. Wow. It's not letting me go past 2014. That can't be right. What's the deal, Twitter? I definitely posted and I've been around Twitter since 2009, I think. Why isn't it letting me go further than 2014? What's up, Twitter? All right, we're going to we're going to there, there's one photo in the school that I was really hoping to find. I don't know where it is, but I do have the others. Uh we'll we'll play these. Here we go. Um uh, we'll show these pictures. Um we're going to let's see it's in here somewhere. Downloads. Okay, here we go. Here's some pictures from back then. Production. Um, this was camera department. There's uh, we shot that opening shot on Steadicam. This was all shot on uh, 135 on film. We shot these on tri these were shot on Tri-X. I had a Leica M6 at the time that I loved. Before I had kids, 
I would shoot film all the time. Uh, it's too time consuming now. I don't have time to do it. These are some shots from the opening sequence. This was uh, the house where the fridge lands. We had to make a little pothole here for the uh, fridge to land in, or a pothole. <laughs> a, uh, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. We had to dig a hole. Am I going the right way here? Yeah. There's Matt's shelf. <laughs> Gilbert. I love that shelf. This is a, this is me making that uh, assembling that little LED light I was talking about. You can kind of see it here. Um, the wires. I was trying to put it together and get it into the envelope. Uh, we had the fridge transported to a little uh, structure where we could control the lighting. Oh, actually, no, this wasn't the fridge. This was a little set. The The inside the fridge, this is actually cool. I forgot about this. The inside of the fridge was a little box that we had built. So w those shots of me in the fridge are not actually in the fridge. Um, it's a duplicate little little thing that we had built that had no ceiling so that we could do lighting from the top and whatnot. Uh, and you can see we had a little, the little uh, cable that's supposed to be in the fridge. <laughs> you can see how we had it jerry-rigged here uh, to make it look like the same location. There's another view of that little box, just a simple little box. There's Tyler and Chris. Tyler Tortai. This was, uh, I was in makeup here and hair. Uh, this is Theresa. Uh, I'm struggling to remember her last name off the top of my head. She's she's baller. She worked on Nashville, and uh, she did hair and makeup for the show Nashville. And this is my aunt, Zita, who has cut my... She was actually in Expensive Haircut, the lady in Expensive Haircut. She's done my hair basically my whole life. Uh, she's my aunt. They're spraying me with some makeup. can't remember what we were talking about here but it looks like <laughs> I'm talking about something very serious and they're going uh-huh yeah sure that's what it looks like can't remember what we were talking about here they were assembling the fridge the inside of it it's me holding a fortune I got from a fortune cookie it says wait and so I sat there for a second while they took a long exposure there's Jude, my brother, getting his hair dyed a little darker. His hair is more like naturally sandy blonde, so we had to darken his hair for the video. Little puppy. And that's it. Those are all the pictures. I really wish I could find the one of the uh, of the, uh, the, the, the there's a photo in the gym of the school that we shot in with all the people, all the cast and crew from that day uh, in the gym and throwing our hats up in the air. Uh, and it's just this awesome picture of uh, a bunch of people throwing their hats in the air. I, I was trying to find that. That's what I was looking for for so long earlier, but I couldn't find it. Uh, guys, thank you so much. This has been such a great stream. What a great idea. Thank you to the dozens of you who brought this idea to my attention. And uh, I thought this was a lot of fun. What a great way to spend the evening here. You guys are awesome. Thanks for all the support. Uh, thanks for liking and subscribing. Thank you for uh, all the great suggestions of videos to watch today. I hope we didn't let anybody down. Hope we got to some good ones for you. And, uh, oh, that's a good question from Dice Decides. How much money was spent on that video? That video back then cost about $35,000 to produce. It should have cost a hundred grand, but uh, I'm crafty. I know how to get stuff done pretty effectively if I'm, I, I wore myself out though. I did way too much. Um, if I had, if I had hired if I hadn't worn like 20 hats, it, it would have cost more like 100000 to do that video. Uh, most of that budget went towards the visual effects, uh, if that says anything. So it was, uh, it was an effort uh, of like, th I want to say three or four months uh, went into that video. Just, just the video, not even the song. Um, so thanks for all the great questions, guys. Thanks for uh, sticking around this long. We went way over time, but uh, it was a lot of fun. It was worth it. And it's not storming now, so... Great. It's going to be a beautiful night, hopefully. We, need, we have needed some rain here. Hope you guys are having a great week. 
We'll be back live again tomorrow night. Uh, please join us for Anonymous Live. You will like Anonymous Live. You will watch Anonymous Live. Do I have something to dangle? I'll dangle with the milk carton. You're getting very sleepy. You will watch Anonymous Live. You just don't know you like it yet. You just don't you don't know what it's about yet. You'll get into it. You'll get into it. It's not entertainment. It's not entertaining, uh, but uh, it's it's something we try to do for the community, and it's 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 proven. It's every time we do it, it's it's amazing. Amazing stories. Amazing people share uh, very candidly. Um, if you can stomach it, uh, join us tomorrow at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. We'll be live for about two hours. Uh, we do those Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and I'm trying to release uh, videos every week here now. I'm releasing a video every week, trying to get the numbers of videos up per week. So from here on out, you can expect more. Uh, we're going crazy, guys. So thanks for being part of the journey. Thanks for sticking around and watching. And uh, take care. See you guys tomorrow night. Good night, everybody.